Hello everybody and happy Friday. Thank you so much for stopping by for this DIY video and let's just go ahead and jump right in. So what you're gonna need for this project is acrylic paint, paint brushes, hammer, and some studs. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out. I actually cut these uh, stencils out. I printed them on some computer paper and just cut them out. And I'm gonna go ahead and place my first kind of phrase, I guess, at the top. Um, I'm using the Sharpie pen just because it's easier to control the paint. If you have acrylic paint pens by you, then I would suggest just getting those, but I didn't think of that until after the fact, so I use the Sharpie paint pen to kind of help me a little bit. So don't worry about if you have like a little bit of a mess um, when you pull off the stencil. You can always clean it up after, and also from farther away, it does not look as kind of messy as it may look when you're up close. I just think that's how it looks when you're super close. So for this next section, I'm just going to go ahead and do some flowers on my jacket. You don't have to do flowers, but that's just what I wanted to do. So to start, I just um, put two of the colors that I wanted to use onto a piece of paper. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dip the front end of the brush in one color and then the back in another and just do some light brush strokes back and forth to kind of blend those two colors together a little bit so it's not as um, harsh, I guess. Harsh is the word I use. So yeah, you're just going to do five little lines right here for your petals. And then for this part, I did practice, guys, but what you really want to do the motion is just back and forth lightly. You want to start a little bit lower and then kind of move up as you're coming around. But it's not really difficult. I just think if you practice it, you could get it because this was definitely my first time doing it. And after about the third or fourth try, I got it right. So I went ahead and I just filled in some of those little areas after and there is my first flower. So for the stem, I actually um, got mixed two greens together and I'm just going to go ahead and draw that out. These are the two colors that I mixed together to kind of create, I don't know, I guess I don't really know what color green I created, but I just like the two colors better together. And I know my hand's in the way, but basically what you're going to do for the leaf is you're going to draw something like a heart, except you're not going to close the top. Um, once you draw that, you can go ahead and draw a line down the middle and then you're just going to do like soft brush strokes out toward the outer edge of the leaf to kind of make it look more like foliage, I guess. Now that the flowers are done, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the studs. I'll list what sizes I bought in the description box below, but what you're going to do is just, it's really simple, just push it through and kind of bend the ends over so that it stays. Um, if you have like a jacket that's a higher quality, it might be a little bit more difficult to do this, so you might want to punch holes in. But this jacket was from H&M, so it wasn't that hard, and whenever I got to an area that was hard, I would just use the hammer to uh, push it through and then I would fold the ends in on the other side. So these are the final results guys of my DIY studded painted leather jacket. <laughs> 